MetaMask is the most popular wallet in crypto, but when you are a beginner, MetaMask is not easy. In this video, I will explain what is MetaMask and how to integrate it with a dApp in a simple way. If you are new here, I'm Julian, and on In The Blocks, I teach blockchain development. MetaMask has more than 10 million users. It works on Ethereum and on all blockchain based on Ethereum like Binance Smart Chain or Polygon. MetaMask stores the private keys of users. Each private key is associated to a public Ethereum address. The private key never leaves the wallet and is used to sign transactions. The address identifies an account and can be shown to anyone. When a user uses a dApp, first the HTML, CSS and JavaScript code of the dApp is loaded in the user web browser. Then the user clicks on a button to perform some action. The dApp creates a transaction, then the user confirms the transaction using a MetaMask pop-up. And the transaction is sent to Ethereum by MetaMask. To install MetaMask, go to the Google Chrome store, search for the MetaMask extension and install it. After, you should see a Fox icon in your extension menu. When you open it for the first time, it's going to ask you to create a password and a new account. After you finish the setup, you will have a few addresses with their associated private keys. If you connect MetaMask to a local development blockchain like Ganache, there are a few caveats. First, it can be useful to synchronize the accounts of Ganache with MetaMask. For this, you can import the mnemonic phrase of Ganache into MetaMask. Every time you restart Ganache, make sure to click on Reset Accounts in the Settings menu. If you don't do it, your transactions will fail. In the JavaScript code of your dApp, you will probably use a library like Web3 or Ethers. To integrate with MetaMask, these libraries need to wait for MetaMask to be loaded so that they can connect to the MetaMask provider. You can either code the integration from scratch, but it's easy to get it wrong and trigger a race condition, or you can use a library. For example, you can use MetaMask Detect Provider for something simple, or Web3 React if you need something more powerful. Now you know what is MetaMask and how to integrate it with your dApp. If you want to dive deeper in the code integration with MetaMask, you can check out this other video where I show the full JavaScript code step by step. 